built a data discovery dashboard using data that Gartner provided from the Department of Transportation. It shows accident trends in the U.S. across multiple years. This dashboard plots data about fatal accidents on a map and uses color to show which states have the most fatal accidents. This map is completely interactive and makes information readily visible. The Bake Off requested another map that shows count of fatal accidents with distractions for each state. In MicroStrategy, you can have multiple layers of information in a single map. Here, we're going to add data on the number of fatal accidents with distractions. We'll also color the markers based on the count of fatal accidents with distractions for deeper analysis and result in a richer visualization. We see here that Alaska has fewer accidents in general compared to California. MicroStrategy dashboards let you use visualizations as a filter for other information in the same dashboard. When you select a state in the map visualization, it filters the matrix chart that shows trends in fatal accidents over time by distraction type and age group. Filters provide a way to uncover details on the type of distractions and accidents. We can see how often reaching for an object or talking on a cell phone resulted in accidents as we consider age groups and gender. By incorporating an interactive filter for gender, we can better understand how males and females across age groups differ in distraction types within accidents. MicroStrategy makes slicing and dicing data easy. The bottom visualization shows the number of fatal accidents across the month of a year and then segments them by age group. The red line graph represents the fatal accidents with distractions, while the blue bar charts represent the total count of fatal accidents. There's no distinct trend over months, so we'll drag and drop hour of day to see which variable has a bigger impact. Now we see that accidents occur mostly in the late afternoon for those under 18, which correlates to when school gets out for the day. Meanwhile, the 18 through 29 age bracket has accidents mostly in the night and early morning. For older age groups, most of the accidents occur in the evening. MicroStrategy has new natural language generation technology that amplifies the power of your visualizations by offering context to end users through words. We duplicate the map visualization and convert it into text so that users can easily read information rather than interpret a chart. With this feature, those with lower skill sets can simply read and make insights without deep knowledge of data analytics. Bringing in new information and blending it with existing data is seamless in desktop. We're going to add new data from the Department of Transportation to create another visualization that shows road conditions and plots accident trends as a result of road and bridge conditions. This data set requires some wrangling and profiling before analysis. We'll apply transformational functions to edit spelling errors, such as the misspelling of Alabama, or take out irrelevant text information across the entire data set without having to return to the original data set. We also create multi-form attributes with a single dimension by combining state and state description in a single attribute within the data set. Now we're going to bring in more data from Wikipedia on state population density, which normalizes our existing data set. Our data connector identifies the table and then converts the data into MicroStrategy's tabular format. We select tables and automatically create joins across data sets without ever leaving the interface. To build a scatter plot, we use multiple dimensions to observe changes across a variety of variables for all 50 states. We've brought in data to show how structurally deficient bridges and bad road conditions affect fatal accident occurrences. Structurally deficient bridges is on the vertical axis, and percentage of bad conditions is on the horizontal axis. We want to size the circles by the percentage of fatal accidents and then place state in the break by 
so we can get a holistic picture of nationwide activity. Then, with thresholding, we can layer color gradients in addition to size, offering us multiple ways to look at something in a single chart. Red marks a high percentage of fatal accidents, while green marks a low percentage of fatal accidents in a state. Now let's add reference lines and enable trend lines for the X and Y axes to build the quadrant. Notice that although there are states with poor infrastructure, it does not result in more accidents. In fact, when there are better roads, you see a higher percentage of distracted accidents, implying that when roads are questionable, people tend to focus on driving more rather than other tasks. MicroStrategy allows you to build multiple dashboards that display the same data set with different visualizations. Plugin compatibility allows you to incorporate custom visualizations such as D3 and Google Charts. In this case, we have a DOT dataset and are using a map, matrix chart, bar chart, bubble graph, and Sankey diagram to present various points of view. MicroStrategy allows you to plot data in whatever manner you like, with no restrictions on visualizations. Any dashboards you build with desktop can be promoted to the server. You can upload updated datasets to ensure that users are always viewing and interacting with certified content. You can also map new data from external sources to a new approved dataset. This workflow allows you to keep dashboard formatting, but remap it to new data. After updating objects and metric definitions, you are able to explore the same dashboard with new data, knowing that your dashboard is using trusted data. When desktop users build dashboards on their personal machine, they can upload their work into the web server to share and collaborate with other users. And with our distribution capabilities, you can also send automated and personalized reports in any format. Reports can be sent, for example, every Monday morning. These can be PDFs or interactive MSTR files, which allow users to engage with the dashboard offline. Distribution with MicroStrategy is flexible and secure. Users log in with secure authentication modes by scanning QR codes. Information is tailored to each user right when he or she accesses the dashboard. Compared to the dashboard presented previously, this one shows only West Coast information. You'll also notice that the NLG summary has also been modified to reflect the information for 11 states, rather than the entire United States because of administrator settings. <laughs>